Hey guys, I'm Jordy and this is Premiere Basics. Now shaky footage, it ain't so nice. So let me show you guys an easy way to stabilize that shaky footage. As you can see, I was walking while shooting this, but I did not use a gimbal or any other stabilizer. No problem, luckily Premiere Pro has provided us with the warp stabilizer effect. You can find this in the effects panel, just drag and drop it onto your clip and you'll see that it automatically will start analyzing. It will take a couple of seconds or minutes, or hours, depending on the length of your clip. Now keep in mind that the more steady you shot your video, the easier it will be for Premiere to stabilize it. Now the warp stabilizer is currently using its default settings, and you can adjust these if you want. Let's have a look at the results. You can either choose for smooth motion or no motion. In this case, I was walking around, so I want some motion in my shot. If I were to shot this handheld, but I wanted to have a tripod look, then I would pick no motion. Next up is smoothness level. There's actually no specific level that is right, so you kind of need to play around with it to get your desired look. If you click on method, you'll see four different methods that your video clip can be stabilized to. The warp stabilizer will use this subspace warp as default, and this is actually the best one to use. This method indicates that it will use the position, scale, rotation, and perspective all together to stabilize your footage. You can play around with the other methods, but each step down removes one of the other elements. Position only gives you one dimensional stabilization, while the subspace warp will give you a four dimensional stabilization. If you check the preserve scale box, it will not scale your footage, but it doesn't always look so good, so I tend to keep this unchecked. If you think that your new framing isn't that good, you can always check this box, of course. A tip that I can give you is to always shoot a little bit wider so that it doesn't really matter when your footage is a bit scaled by the warp stabilizer. And next up is framing. It gives us four different methods again. By default, stabilize, crop and auto scale will be chosen. And this is the best way to stabilize because it will automatically scale your footage so that it fits your screen. You can also pick stabilize only if you want to see some black borders around your footage. It's not nice, but it gives you an insight at what the effect does. And lastly, we have the advanced settings. Here you can adjust the crop, less, smooth, more level. It's on 50% by default, and this is like kind of the amount of stabilization which you can play around with. Just see what it does. And that's it, your shaky footage is now gone. Now, to learn more, make sure to check out our website at premierbasics.net where you can find also our in-depth premium courses which have been getting some amazing reviews. You can also click the first link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative.